So Revelation 17 and 18 And the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth, right? So this great city are the woman, right? This are Babylon, USA, right? This are the beast with the two arms, right? Because them reign over the kings of the earth, right? That's why every country, right, for them to be... For, for a country for, for a country to be considered a country they must have to register with the united nations in a new york right and this united nations also is 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 that which reigneth over jerusalem right now right the city of jerusalem shall be established as a car a corpus separatum under a special international regime and shall be administered by the united nations right so the united nations which is an american thing run jerusalem every country have to come to united nations right and then the, you have the international court where they're in the, um, netherlands right the international court of justice is a principal judicial organ of the united nations so the united nations control even the international court in a, in a, the netherlands right so that's show you said that, that um that revelation 17 and 18 and and the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth you know see how america run over everything right <sighs> so revelation 13 and 11 because this woman are this beast are the same thing right this is a different way for describe for describe the woman and I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. Right? So so the beast just mean a country car. When you go on a Daniel, it tells you say a beast is is, in a, is is representation for a country or a kingdom. Right? Just like the woman with the two horns, you understand Semiramis or Kaguya. Right? This way it represents the woman with the two horns. One hand at a the, at the Republican, the other hand. I a Democrat I represent America, which are the woman, which reigneth over all of the kings of the earth, lay, lay, lay the liberty. Right? So Revelation 13 and 13. And and this two on beast, which are the woman which reigneth over the king of the earth, right? He he doth one he doth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven and the earth in the sight of men. Right? And then and they make the fire come down from from, from heaven with, with them with their military weapon them. Like when y'all play Call of Duty, them get the ESC 130, the Predator drone, them drop nuclear missile, them pan Hiroshima, Nagasaki, right? Them have, them have a hydrogen bomb, right? All of that, they make the fire rain from heaven, that are the military might, right? So verse 15, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed right so you make your worship the image of rome right the roman way of life right the nine to five type of, of living right where, where the capitalism system right where you end up on the bottom you end up on the bottom of work for everybody right and you can never make it to the top them who they are the top the the the, the edomite european bank and bank among them right so this this are the image and if you don't conform to this image like say say them tell everybody for, for, for push the jib job on them people tell every politician like from here to zimbabwe Mo Mo mozambique for push the jib job on the people and if them don't push the jib job on the people them kill them and if them want for and, and if the people like saddam and and and, and um Gaddafi don't want to use the paper money they want to use the gold money and them don't want to use this capitalism paper money system then you have to kill them you understand if you don't you understand know what the image of the beast is right car revelation 13 and 15 once again and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed now you understand why certain country leader them get killed off right when them don't obey where, where america and europe are push right so america are the backbone behind this the military might where i do this right so revelation 13 and 1 now 
And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea having seven heads and ten hands. And upon his hands ten crowns and upon his head the name of blasphemy. So this is the first beast, right, in a revelation, which, are the, uh, which was the fourth beast in a Daniel. This is a Rome, right? The seven heads. The seven heads are, are, are Rome, Italy, Spain, Portugal, France, right, England, right, Germany major and Germany minor. And then the ten hands, uh, uh, Iceland, England, Norway, Denmark, uh, Netherlands, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Luxembourg, France, Italy, Portugal, and Liechtenstein. Right? That are the ten hands and the seven heads. That are, that are Rome. Right? Revelation. 17 and 16 and the ten hands which thou sawest upon the beast these shall hate the heart and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire so so eventually europe are going to hate america and i and i and i go nuke out america just like russia and the rest of them are going to nuke out america right why right because remember these are the ten hands the eu right because revelation 17 and 17 for god has put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and to give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of god should, shall be fulfilled so you are right now through the power of the lord yahweh bashem yahweh shai I, I, I listen to the policies right that america I tell them to do right america say yo sanction your gas provider europe i go do that america say yo sanction the people with provide you with your grain and your wheat um, Europe, Europe are going to do that, right? Them are going to listen to what America do because America are the woman who reign over the king, the kings of, of, of the earth, right? So, and when America make the backwards, dickhead policy them, then which which backfire and hurt Europe, then Europe, the ten hands are going to hit the heart, which are America, and then them are going to burn her out with fire, right? Now you understand because them. They call the Lord, your Bashem, your Shai, put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and to give their kingdom unto the beast unto the words of God shall be fulfilled. So now you understand why Europe will follow some backward policy of sanctioning the hands that feed them. Right? Isaiah 29, 21 and 9. And and behold, here cometh a chariot of, of men. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, 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 Isaiah 21 and 9. And behold, here cometh a chariot of men with a couple with a couple of horsemen. And he answered and said, Babylon is fallen, is fallen. And all the graven images of our gods he have broken unto the ground. Right? So this I talk about Babylon. So verse 2. A grievous vision is declared unto me. The treacherous dealer dealeth treacherously and the spoiler spoileth. Right? So America, Babylon, because this I talk about Babylon, dealeth treacherously. Them tell Europe for sanction and, and uh, the energy provider and the food provider to Europe. And that I go that I go harm Europe and cause Europe, which are the ten hands, f -f 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 burn America with fire and switch side and join up with Russia. Right? So go up, O oh Elam, besiege all media. Are the sign there of I may for cease because America from long time I push pan from Elam, which is Iran, which which are the Persian man them, right? But we know say through Ezekiel 38 and, and around 5 that Persia, Iran, were well, there with Gag and Magog, they will be on the same side as Russia, right? So you understand because when the treacherous dealer deal it treacherously and then make America and then make Europe mad when America deal bad and make Europe mad then a, a new court America Iran and Persia I go join in because Russia I go join in you understand so America deal treacherously man and that's why Europe I go eventually ch change sides pan 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 America for Russia Right, you know, understand from the root as Biden lands in Europe in the middle of dispute over Russian energy sanctions, right? So, in our March the 23rd, President Joe Biden landed in Brussels on Wednesday in the middle of a dispute with European allies over whether to impose further energy sanctions on Russia over its invasion of Ukraine. So, you understand now, say, Biden had to go to Europe to tell them if they were going to do this or not. Right now you understand that the, that the, the word of the Lord, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai cannot be broken. It don't go out void because him say them I go all be with 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 Babylon say so Babylon 
America I have to go over there so and tell them what where them have to do. Right? Russia supplies about 40% of the natural gas Europe uses, making it difficult for several European nations to ban Russian energy in imports as the United States has. So them so you understand them I go America I go tell them for sanction the and we feed them and this eventually I go lead to a crisis which I go make a, a Europe hate America which are the which are the 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 the, 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 the are and, and Europe are the tenants them I go burn out America right so <clears throat> another article on the routers hungry PM Orban says you EU sanctions and Russia have backfired man you have you have man them where I look on the outside where say what go on man Hungary should prepare for a prolonged war in neighboring Ukraine Prime Minister Viktor Orban said on Monday sharply criticizing European Union sanctions imposed on Russia which he said have backfired driving up energy prices right so so even the man them outside of Europe and, and them place they see what go on them say say yo it now nah work out man yeah, yeah you know i try for hurt russia i know you hurt yourself lead and, and them i follow america lead so this is oh america and europe i got broke ties right this is all the tenants i go hate america right look on the, the eu economy man right them them the the euro and the dollar are equal back in my days in our elementary school the, the the euro was on top of the dollar right the jay-z all i make song talk about pay me in a euro no if him said that song there again right now it seemed like why, why him said that it made no sense right so this is you understand you understand what i go on with europe right now under the, under the leadership of american policy right you have um <coughs> they have um russia cut off the, the Nord stream right them are cut off the gas. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We did have an article, right? It did say that them do this in a response to all of the sanctions them did I get. Right, so Russia cut off the gas because them are sanctioned them. So, so Russia kicked back and I said, all right, you're not sanctioned the gas, but you are sanctioned me in a head of a market. So me I go cut back on the gas, right? So this is how it is, it is backfiring. And now the, the EU have to pay for this. Then I go freeze out. Them already did a um, burn the wooden furnace thing last year, last winter. And now next winter I come up, right? So them I got, them I got them two years of, of living like a third world type of people. Them man, they are going to be furious, man. They are going to hate America, they are. And they are going to burn her out. Right? <clears throat> so, after Europe burn out America, right? After Europe burn out America, because right now, a World War III, it will go on right now in a Ukraine. Right? So, after Europe burn out America, that's, that's when the Armageddon is going to take place. Right? That's how Armageddon is going to take place. Because when the nukes come down in America, the elect of God have to go up. Right and members say when when them when them burn out the R when them burn America, right when them nuke out America, America have a, a navy and an air force and army base all across the world, so them have to nuke out everywhere, right? So that's why you know say people have to go up in the air around that time there because America navy base and army base they everywhere, right? So so everybody have to lift up. So after um so second is just thirteen and thirty one. And one shall undertake to fight against another, one city against another, one place against another, one people against another, and one realm against another. Right? That's that's that the World War Three right now. You have you have Iran and and Turkey versus Greece, right? You have I Iran versus versus Israel, right? You have Azerbaijan versus Armenia, right? You have you have Russia versus Ukraine with with Iran there and there. You have the French Foreign Legion versus Russia, right? You have NATO mercenaries versus Russia, right? You have the China and Taiwan are going right? You have the South Korea, North Korea thing are going right? And then you have many other buckles are going where we can't find information from because they are ID information, right? Remember, says from, from the Corona thing, you understand? Them, them are ID information, right? 
So that's why that's what that's why I go on right now over the sun Ukraine. Right? Right now, it's a World War Three right now. You have many fact many factions across the world from Ethiopia, Libya, right? They in a war. Syria, they in a war. Right? Iran, they in a war. Greece and Turkey, they in a war. Right? And the Western news now nah, talk about it. You have to go up on the internet in a secret website and, and, and backlog and VPN to find this because they might restrict the information, right? Because the famine of the word, it, it, it'll come. The sign are partly sure. Right? So let's go back into it. So Revelation 17 and 16 and the tenons which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the har and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Them are going to do out America, man. So while this war, this World War III thing will pop off, right? Eventually Europe will go burn out America with the fire because them will feel all of the flock from following all of the policy that Biden and them tell them for in upon Russia, right? Biting on, we will feed them, right? And then eventually the war will intensify and them will go nuke out America, man. Right? So 2nd Ezra 13 and 32. And, and, and the time shall be when these things shall come to pass and the sign shall happen which I shewed thee before, and then shall my son be declared, whom thou sawest as a man ascending. Then you always shy, I go jump on the scene, the return of the Lord, him I go come like, like a thief in the night, him I go jump out of the, of the sky, you understand? Him I come out of the sky, uh, uh, everybody I go see them, I go be astonished, I'm like, yo, me to think, me have at least 50 years, me have at least 10 more years, right? Him I go come out, when America get nuke out, that's when you always shy come out, Right then, Joel 3 verse 2 off a pop off. I will also gather all nations. So, this happens after World War 3. Right, so I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations because they scatter us through transatlantic, trans, trans Saharan, trans Pacific, right, and trans Indian Ocean slave trade and parted Milan then part of the land with the Suez Canal and the Israel-Palestine partition plan right so this is why the Armageddon got pop off and when Europe get new coat and the Lord return that's when it, that's when um that's when him I go um that's when him I go pop off the Armageddon because you wonder why them I go why them I go go down in Israel because when America get new coat, the elect of God are going to raise up and them are going to see we I go over to Israel and we are going to come down upon Mount Zion and go fight them. And them understand we will come down upon Mount Zion that a new government will come. No more 1%, no more liberalism, no more Democrat, no more Republican, no more strip club, no more no more only fans, no more bad man, no more black boy, no more drug dealing. Right, and everybody want that that is not uh, with the Lord, done with the Lord. Yeah, our bash him, our shite them, we want to fight against this man. Right, so so after America get new coat, them all know what I go on. Them see what I go on, them I go see the elect of God rise up and walk across the firmament to Israel and drop down in a Zion. Right. So, so second Ezra 13 and 33, and when all the people hear his voice, every man shall in their own land leave the buckle they have on against another. That's the World War Tree. When, when, when them hear the Lord return, them are gonna stop the World War Tree, right? Them are gonna stop the World War Tree. Verse 34, and an innumerable multitude shall be gathered together as thou sawest them willing to overcome, to come, willing to come and to overcome him by fighting. Then, them are gonna stop the world war tree and start the arm again and trying to stop the lord by fighting you understand what i'm going you understand verse 33 and when all the people hear his voice every man shall in their own land leave the back where they have one against another so the world war tree will be raging before the return of the lord but when they hear his voice them are gonna stop the world war tree verse 34 and an innumerable multitude shall be gathered together as thou sawest them willing to come to overcome him by fighting. Right? So them are gonna stop the World War Tree for go fight the armor getting back up, right? And this uh, and we are gonna get into the, the innumerable multitude now. You are gonna have the the, 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 the the beast, right? After after them new court America, you, you still are gonna have the beast, right? The you, the EU and the, and the and the and the European side of NATO. Right, then you have Gag and Infactions, 
Right, so Ezekiel 38 and 2, son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, and the chief prince of Meshech and Tuba, and prophesy against him. Right, so when we look on the map now, we have Magog and Gog is Russia, Goma and Tagama, Turkey, Meshech and Tuba, Latia, Armenia, and Yajaji and, and, and Azerbaijan. Right, them all, them all they on the side of russia and we see say this ukraine war i bring all of them faction together the this ukraine war which are the world war three scenario it i bring all of the the, the the multitude together right now it i draw the line on the sides right it up it up it up in a, these prophecies of gog and magog can you see the sides of gog and magog being farmed up right now you see turkey a split out from the nato and a joining with russia you see iran a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a Right, verse 5 Persia, Ethiopia, Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. So that's the Iran, that's why you see Iran, then a Ukraine, that's why you see Russia in a Sudan and Ethiopia and Libya right now. Them they on the side of Russia, and all of them man there, right? Where am I gonna do? Where am I gonna do? All of them man there, right? Verse 6 Goma, that are, and, and all his bands, and the house of Tagama, and the North Quarters, and all his bands, and many people with thee. So Turkey, right? Turkey with them. Right, and what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Verse 16. Verse 16. And thou shalt come up against my people of Israel as a cloud to, co to cover the land. And it shall be in the latter days, and I will bring thee against my land, that the heathen may know me when I shall be sanctified in thee, O God, before their eyes. So, so, when my talk about is, when my dad talk about, right, after America get new caught, the elect of God, the one third, Right, I go, I go lift up in the chariots, and we are going to go over in Israel. Then the 144,000 out of the one third, I go stand on Zion with the Lord and fight against the nation, them and put them under the subjection of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Right, that's why I'm going to get sanctioned, sanctified in them eyes. Then I go say, Yo, this are the holy of holy, the Lord, the Lord, the King of Kings, he's the holiest man. Right, because 2 Ezra 13 and 35, but he shall stand upon the top of Mount but he shall stand upon the top of the mount zion so when the lord return and the multitude of all of the bands of gog and magog and persia and ethiopia and tagama and, and turkey and the beast and rome and the eu come against the lord but he shall stand upon the top of the mount zion right right verse 36 and zion shall come and shall be shrewd to all men being prepared and build it like as thou sawest the ill graven without an so he so the lord will go stand upon mount zion right you always shall go stand upon mount zion and then zion will go come right so what that mean what that mean it mean because so is this talk about new jerusalem not so not so because it's not talking about new jerusalem right that's so because i'm have to fight first Right, is New Jerusalem going to come as as in the building and and the city? No, it might talk about the people first. The people are the city first, right? The city will come, but this was talking about the people of the city, the hundred and forty-four thousand, right? So, so verse thirty-five. But he shall stand upon the top of the Mount Zion, right? Your Awa Shai, son of son of your Awa, right? So called Jesus and Yahweh, right? But he shall stand upon the top of the Mount Zion. Right, verse 36, and Zion shall come and shall be shrewd to all men being prepared and build it like as thou sawest the ill without hands. Right, so what that mean? Revelation 14 and 1. And I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him a hundred and forty, and with him a hundred forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in the foreheads. Right, so Jeremiah 51 and 21, and with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his right and his rider, and with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. So 
the 144,000 is the Zion coming with the Lord. And the Lord are going to use the 144,000 to kill off all the multitude of Gog and Persia and, and Russia and, 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 and England and, and, and Italy and France and, and Ethiopia and Libya. All of them and they, they are going to get put down and the Lord, the Lord are going to read, man. They are going to know what go on. Okay, so that's, so yeah, that's the, um, the beast, right? The beast with the two arms in a revelation 13 and 11 that the beast with the two arms that are the great R babylon which reigned over the king of the city them right and and and, and the second and the, and the beast with the seven head and the ten hands that are the that are the eu and nato right so yeah mm-hmm.